In this video, we will continue with parametric differentiation. You will find this on page 509 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another exam example. The parametric equations of a curve are x equals 6 sin squared t, y equals 2 sin 2t plus 3 cos 2t for, oh, I see there's a printing mistake. Okay. For t bigger than or equal to 0 and smaller than or equal to pi. The curve crosses the x-axis at the point B and D. Okay. And the stationary points at A and C. A and C. As shown in the diagram. Show that dy over dx is this. And again, if you don't come, come to get A correct, continue with this to B and C. But first, let's try A. Okay. So in this case, it's going to be dy over dt. And don't forget, this one, and I showed you in previous videos, it's just going to be 2 cos 2t. Two and the two, other 2 was outside. There it was. And then it was 3, but now it's cos, so it becomes negative 2 sin 2. So the cos is having the positive and the sin is having the negative. And I simplify and I got this. Okay. Now with x, I'm going to do the chain rule. And I showed you there. So make it 6u, otherwise you can do the outside and inside, but I just showed you here. So 6u and u is equal to sin t, so that inside is u. So dx over du is 12u, du over dt is cos t. If I multiply this, then I get 12, but what is u? Remember, it's sin t, sin t, cos t. Okay, so there I was getting it. But can I just show you, I didn't, uh, I think my space was not enough there. But what I actually wanted to show you there, although this is 12, it was actually, after I got it, it was 12 um, sin t cos t. But I want to go for the double angle. The double angle, I'll say 6 times 2, because there's the double angle. Do you see? And I can replace it with that double angle. So it's 6 sin 2 t. So always remember chapter 10, further trigonometry. Bring it in. There I showed you. Okay. Now I swap it around and it's 1 over 6 sin 2 t. Okay. And now I can go and multiply this by this. Okay. So if I multiply this, then I'm getting this. Okay. And now I'm, I continue. Um, I take this denominator, I divide first one, I divide the second one um, in the numerator. And then this cancel out, and I got the 1. This is 2 over 3, and this is cot 2t. And that's exactly what they asked me to come to. Okay, it's a bit challenging, really. And check it a second time. Um, it's just bring that double angle in. Okay, so now find the values of A and C. Now, this, that is the stationary points. Do you see A and C? So, at the stationary points, dy over dx is 0. Okay, so I'm going to take this and I put it over to 0. And I make that cot 2t, the subject. And if I swap it around, tan 2t is 2 over 3. Okay, now don't forget. And I'm going to bring it a bit down, show you there. Okay, actually I showed you there, but I just want to highlight it here. Don't forget that uh, there, it was just 1t, and it was just up to pi. But now, because I have 2t, I have to multiply 2, multiply 2, multiply 2. Okay, so it was a half uh, revolution, but now it's full. Now, where is stand positive? Quadrant 1, quadrant 4, 4. Ach, 3. Get your basic angle. Don't forget to put on the radians. So press shift tan bracket 2 over 3 and you get your basic angle there. Okay. And then this one is just in quadrant 1. This one is the pi plus that 0 0.5880. And then I simplify and I get 0 0.294 t equals 1.865. So at t, Okay, so what, find the values, giving you, okay, find the values of t. So they just want t, okay, not the coordinate. 
So at t, this is the two values, and at c, it's this. You can see, um, okay, let's see, at a, it's the one that comes first, and then c is the one that comes second, and that's why I know that. Okay, so now find the value of the gradient of the curve at b. Now don't forget, at b, what is it's cutting? Cutting the x-axis, so y is equal to 0. So I make y is equal to 0. So I just go there, and I in the place of y, I put a 0. Now I simplify again. Let's go up, 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 up. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm getting this, two set, and, and I uh, divide by this. Then I divide cos and divide cos, and I get this. And then I divide with the 2, and then I'm ending up with this 2. Now, gradient at the point B. So, so I get basically, and that's a little bit of a challenge because I get cot 2t. And I must remember that there is a cot 2t. Where can I see it better? There also. So I can basically just substitute that minus 2 over 3 in that cot 2t. And then it's basically just algebra. And I just simplify it, actually just numbers. And I get my answer. This is, this is quite challenging, especially thinking of all the different things. So I will advise you to go through it a second before you start with the examples. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Right, let's start. The diagram shows the curve with parametric equations. So this, okay, this is number one. So x is equal to 2 minus cos t. And y is equal to 1 plus 3 cos 2t. And don't forget that t is bigger and equal to 0 and smaller and equal to y. Okay. So let's start. I differentiate dx over dt. Is equal, that is, it's, and it's just going to be, okay, there's the negative, and it's negative sin t, okay, and that will be positive sin t there. Then I do the next one, um, I'm going to say dy over dt, don't forget, again, zero, and then this one is three, and now I'm just going to substitute this one, okay, you know it now, negative 2 sin 2t. There it is. So that will be negative 6 sin 2t. Okay, now I swap this one around. You could have already swapped it around and then go to that one. does not matter. Just remember after you swapped it. Okay, now I'm going to go for my differentiated equation. So dy over dx will be, if I take this one and I multiply by this one. So basically, it will be negative 6 sin 2t over sin t. Now, as soon as you see sin 2t, don't forget your rule. Okay, do you know the rule? Can I just show you? Um, it's sin, it, the double angle, 2t, is equal to 2 sin t cos t. Okay, so in that place, I'm going to substitute. So it's negative 6, and it's 2 sin t cos t over sin t. Okay. Now, basically, this will cancel out. That will be negative 12, and then just cos t. Oh, excellent. It's a nice feeling if you see that. Oh, I got the answer. Okay, and remember, if you didn't get A, don't continue with your own. Continue with their answer. That's why they give it. So that if you don't get A correct, maybe you have a chance at B and C. Okay, find the coordinates of M. So I'm going to start there. So I'm going to just say at M, at M, the stationary point dy over dx is equal to 0. Okay, so there is my dy over dx. So it's negative 12 
cos t and at zero. So cos t is equal to zero. Now, now what is t? Where is cos? So I think if you see a plane graph, always just go to your to your um, basics, chapter four. How is the cost growth looking? So it's always easy because the cost is going like this and this, and they, they would have been 2 pi. So in the middle would have been pi, and there, there would have been pi over 2. And that's 3 pi over 2, but 0. So the first one, so what will I say? So therefore, t equals pi over 2. Okay. And now, I'm going to, okay, wait, what, is, what am I going to do now after I got that? I'm going to find my x and y, my y. So find the coordinates of m. So I have the value of t now, but to find the coordinates, I take my original equations. And what was my original equations? Can I just show you? There is x, there is y. Okay, so let's start with the x. What's it, what color did I make x? Blue. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's draw it, keep it to a plain color. Um, let's make it green. Okay, so the original equation x is equal to 2 minus cos t. I'm first going to write it down. And y is equal to 1 plus 3 cos 2t. Okay, so 2 minus cos pi over 2. Now, after I do that, now what is cos pi over 2? Remember, cos pi over 2 is 0. So that is just going to be 2. So y is equal to 1 plus 3. And now it's cos 2 and make it pi over 2. So the 2's cancel out. So it's actually 1 plus 3 cos pi. And what is cos pi? That is going to be negative 1. So it's 1 plus 3, negative 1. Let's just move it up. And that is going to be negative 3 plus 1, so that's negative 2. So I can end up by saying, therefore, n is that 2 and that negative. Okay, that's how you do it. And now the last one, the last one, number C. Find the gradient of the curve at P and Q. Do you see P and Q? Now, don't forget, at the point P and Q, what value is 0? Y is 0. Y is 0 because it cuts the x-axis. Then Y is 0. Right, but let's start. <clears throat> right, let's just take Y, just another color. Okay. So at P, at P and Q, y is equal to 0. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one, and I'm in the place of y is a 0. So it's going to be 1 plus 3 cos 2t equals 0. Now I simplify that, and I have 3 cos, oh, let's just go, 3 cos 2t equals negative 1, so cos 2t is negative 1 over 3. Okay. But now don't forget, and you can look in your previous, I, can I just show you here? Can I just go back? Uh, remember that t was just up to pi. 1 did this. Keep that. Okay, now I'm bringing that in. I'm bringing that in. So basically t was bigger than equal 0 and smaller than equal to pi. So if I have 2, then I multiply 2, multiply 2, multiply 2. So 0, 2t, two, 2 pi. Okay. So now it's a full revolution. So if I'm going to now draw my sketch, I'm going to have, where is cost negative? Cost is negative. In, this is the cos, so it's in this two positive, so it will be negative in this two. Okay, 
Then I'm first going to get always my basic angle. And how do I get my basic angle? I'm going to press on my calculator. Sh uh, make sure it's on radians. Make sure it's on radians. So shift, pause, and then don't press the negative. That was just for the quadrant. So bracket 1, divide 3, close the bracket. And my basic is 1.2. Uh, three. Now it's zero 09. I want to make it four decimal places, but that five makes it difficult. So I think I'm just going to do it like that. Okay, just so simplify. So 1.23 and that nines make makes the five after the nine makes it a ten to one zero. And that is that angle. Okay, so <clears throat> basically I'm now going to say 2t. And remember that's pi, so it's pi minus 1.2310, and I divide 2, and I divide 2, or um, 2t, 2t equals pi plus 1.2310, and I divide 2, and I divide 2, so let's just get that. So shift pi minus 1.231 equals divide 2 equals. And I get that t is equal to 0 0.955. Uh, let's go it for one extra um, because we're still going to find uh, the, the value dy over x. So go, let's go for four um, significant figures. So make it 3, 4, T is equal to shift pi plus 1.231 equals divide 2 equals. Okay, let's just move it up. And I'm getting 2.186. Okay, four significant figures. 8, 6. Okay. But now, now I want the gradient. That's the value of T at that point. So to find the gradient at that point, because that was what the question state. Can I just go back? Find the gradient of the curve. So I'm going to use the gradient formula, that formula, that yellow one. So I'm just going to say, therefore, dy over dx. So at that t equals 0 0.9553 is equal to, and now I just substitute, so it's negative 12 cos and then 0 0.9553, okay? And then at t equals 2.186, and then I'm just going to move it, um, dy over dx equals negative 12 cos, and then it's uh, 2.186. And then I basically just press it in my calculator, um, make sure it's on radians, and I get negative 6.93, three significant figures. And this one, press on my calculator, and it's 6. And you could have seen uh, that if you look at the sketch, can I just go back? There's the two answers. Now, which one do you think is the part, which one is the first one and which one is the second one? So, if you look at the gradient before, then we will go back to the answers. That one, what is the gradient? So, in that one, the gradient will be what? Negative. And in this one, what will be the gradient? The gradient will be positive. So, P is negative and Q is positive. So that, therefore, at, okay, and let's just go at, at P, the gradient is negative 6.93, and at Q, the gradient is positive 6.93. And that's 